Welcome to this week's rendition of UC Sports. I'm Justin Ayer alongside Brandon Martinez. And Brandon, what a week we had of UConn Sports, huh? It's been a week and we have soccer, we have hockey, we have football. Exciting weekend here. I'm excited to get into it. Justin, let's go. Yeah, let's, no, go. let's get right into it. The UConn football team had an emotional loss to USF this past Saturday with a 28-20 loss to USF. Head coach Bob Iaco was incredibly distraught after this game, and I was actually at the game this past weekend, so let's go take a look. I'm Justin Ayer, reporting from the Pratt & Whitney Stadium at Rentschler Field, where the UConn Huskies just took on the USF Bulls in this year's homecoming game. Quarterback Brian Sheriffs was definitely the star of the game, with 365 yards passing and 100 yards rushing. The first points of the game came three minutes into the second quarter with a 44-yard touchdown pass from USF quarterback Quentin Flowers to wide receiver Rodney Adams, making it 7-0 USF. The third quarter was a busy one for both squads, starting with Sheriffs' 36-yard run touchdown, lifting the scoreboard to 10-7 UConn. UConn does get a nice 27-yard field goal by Bobby Puyall late in the third quarter, but USF comes back with a late 15-yard touchdown run by Flowers, bringing the scoreboard to 21-13 USF at the end of the third quarter. Reaching the fourth quarter, USF Quentin Flowers reaches Adams again for a 28-13 lead, but UConn does answer with a touchdown from wide receiver Tariq Beals for a final score of 28-20. So. It's great to see the students. I hope they come back. Sorry. <clears throat> Credit to South Florida. And I take full responsibility and accountability for what you saw today for four quarters. Next week, the Yukon Huskies will be taking on the Cincinnati Bearcats away at Nipper Stadium. Reporting from Pratt & Whitney Stadium at Rentschler Field, this is Justin Ayer with UC Sports. The UConn's women's ice hockey team came back from a two-goal deficit to tie Colgate 3-3 this past Sunday. The Huskies moved to 1-1-2 one, one, and two on the season, and our own Will Richardson has more on the game. Thrilling, nerve-wracking, emotional, physical. Those are the words that come to mind when the UConn women's ice hockey team faced off against Colgate today at the Freedus Ice Forum, and this was just an amazing game. The both teams tied 3-3. The most impressive part of the game was that UConn was able to come back from a 3-1 deficit and come back with the tie. We had goals for UConn scored by Leah Barres, Brittany Barasoff, and Margaret Zimmer. Post game, we were able to talk to Leah Burris along with Coach McKenzie. So let's go ahead and check that out. Their power play was good for them too, but uh, obviously I got the goal on the one and uh, I mean, they're taking dumb penalties and we capitalize on it and it goes both ways, right? So. You mentioned your goal. What was going through your mind during that possession? Can you remember anything from it? Um, spinorama shot. Yeah, that was <laughs> Very excited to score. I haven't scored in a while, so it was fun. We're proud of the comeback, proud of the, uh, the battle and compete level of our team. We just haven't quit. I mean, every one of our games has been this way the rest of uh, the whole season. So, you know, we've got, we've got our effort level and compete level perfect. Now we just got to execute, execute, execute. So you heard what Coach McKenzie and Barres had to say. Some impressive stats from the game. Colgate did outshoot UConn by 17. They had a 43-26 to 26 advantage. The telling tale of the game, however, was the penalties. Both teams had 14 penalties combined. And the good thing for Colgate was that all three goals that they scored were on the power play, and UConn only got one. But that wraps it up for us at Freedus Ice Forum. The Huskies will return to action next weekend where they face Penn State on the road. I'm Wayne Richardson, and this is UC Sports. And now for the men's side of hockey, the men's ice hockey team took care of business last Friday as they defeated Arizona State 5-1. UConn sophomore Spencer Nass scored a, goal, uh, scored a pair of power play goals in the team's home opener at the XL Center. The Huskies used a three-goal first period and added a shorthand goal to chalk up their second win on the season. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with UC Sports. Hi everybody, welcome back to UC Sports. UConn held its first night last Friday, a day that has become a national holiday here at Stores. Gamble was packed to the brim with over 10,000 Husky fans and UConn students excited to see the return of their 2015-2016 UConn basketball players, the dunk contest, and the scrimmage between Team Kevin and Team Gino. Our own Anthony DiBernardo has more. I'm Anthony DiBernardo reporting outside of Gamble Pavilion where UConn held its annual first night. Fans lined up for what seemed like hours to attend the highly anticipated event here in stores. Head coaches Gino Oriema and Kevin Ollie were praising the UConn faithful and were looking forward to another first night here at UConn. 
Oh, just go have fun. You know, uh, I know they're, 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 they're like a break for me instead of me, uh, you know, instructing them, I call it, not yelling at them, but instructing them. So now they get to have fun, go out and dance and, you know, really give the fans a show. A show is exactly what they would put on as the glow-in-the-dark extravaganza exceeded expectations as Husky fans were introduced to the 2015 men's and women's basketball teams. They're the diehard fans. You know, they, they just want a piece, of, you know, a piece of UConn, and it's an opportunity for them to say hi to the kids and coaches, and you know, that's one of the great things that we do, I think. The UConn men's team will open their season November 13th against the University of Maine. The women will have to wait until the 16th when they take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. From Gamble Pavilion, I'm Anthony DiBernardo and this is UC Sports. The men's soccer team had a great win over UCF this past Saturday. A late goal by junior Jake Nowinski lifted the Huskies to 2-1. Our co-anchor Anthony DiBernardo was at the game. Let's go check it out. The UConn men's soccer team won their first conference game of the season tonight at Moroni Stadium when they defeated the UCF Knights by a score of 2-1. to one. In a rare occasion, UConn did not go to overtime as Jake Derwinski, the birthday boy, scores a go-ahead goal with just about 10 minutes left to play, a header off a nice corner kick by Kwame Awuha. UConn took the lead early, late in the first half, excuse me, off a goal by Bakke Jam. He leads the team with four goals. After the game, we were able to talk with head coach Ray Reed along with Jacob Derwinski. And in the second half, right, I don't know what happened on the all goal year up, we'll look at it. But I give our guys credit, Jake just made the point. We didn't panic. And in the last 25 minutes, you know, he scores a big time goal on his birthday. And uh, I said these to these guys before the game, I don't know if they believe me. I really like this group of kids. I think they're some real warriors. And look, all kidding aside, we need a couple more pieces. But, you know, we have no seniors, you know, a couple of seniors, we're young. But we're much better than our record. And we've played much better than our record. And it's a testament to Jake and Kwame to keeping this group in the right direction. Now we've got the Temple, we're in play right now. We're in play. Uh, I mean, you know, I think throughout the season, I don't know how many corners we've had. It's, it might not honestly be over 100 at this point, you know. And I was just thinking about just doing anything I could just to get on the end of it. You know, I saw each flick it on, and I kind of, honestly, kind of just closed my eyes, dove, and it went in. You know, it was, it was a great feeling to help the team. With the win, the Huskies end their Six-match winless streak. The Huskies look to go for two in a row next Wednesday against Temple. From Moroni Stadium, I'm Anthony DiBernardo, and this is UC Sports. Women's soccer also had a successful two games this past week, starting on Thursday when the team faced Memphis and came out with a huge win of 1-0. A late second-half goal by senior Samantha McGuire in the 79th minute were the only points of the game, but it was clearly a hard-fought offensive battle for 90 minutes. But it was on Sunday when the Huskies continued their six-game winning streak with an intense 2-1 double overtime win against Tulsa. Husky star Samantha McGuire netted the game-winning goal for second of the weekend in the 105th minute of the second overtime period. Going into the second half down by one, the Huskies had to prove themselves worthy and they did just that when senior Andrea Plusenik tied the game at 1-1 and McGuire coming in clutch in the second overtime to get the win. This was the first time the Huskies went into overtime all season, and needless to say, a win like that was definitely worth the wait. We will be right back with UC Sports. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You look bored. You look like you need a homework break. Do you know what's going on at UConn? Do you want to be entertained? Then go to the UCTV channel 14 at youtube.com. youtube.com slash the UCTV channel 14. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, everybody, welcome to UC Sports. Uh, we're going to go to softball now. The UConn softball team's fall season has just come to a close, and UCTV got a chance to interview players and Coach McIntyre about what we should expect from their upcoming spring season. 
Well, I always tell my team I don't have any expectations. We never use that word. We use standards. And um, the standard for the program is that we're going to come, we're going to be sharp, we're going to be clean, we're going to be aggressive in every at-bat and everything we do. So, um, you know, when you have expectations, you have a tendency to kind of club your head, yourself over the head with them. Standards you work to achieve every day, so that's how we look at it. Not only have we taken um, personal strides, like goals that Coach Mack has made and personal, like, for ourselves that we've made, but we're winning games really well, like in a good way, not like, oh, they just played terrible and we capitalize. I mean, we're winning games because we're beating them. They're not like giving us the game. So I think it's really good. And I think that in regards to last year, we were very um, new, especially with the coaching staff and stuff. So it was a lot of, um, you know, trying to get forward and know each other while we're trying to get better at softball. And now that we know each other, I mean, it's like we get out there and just have fun and just beating teams is great. So. I think we've done really well. I think we definitely can get better on some things, but I think there's always room for improvement. So, But otherwise, I'm really happy with that. I think we did an awesome job. Where do you think the team needs to improve going into the spring? Um, just on little things, you know, cleaning some things up maybe every so often. But, I mean, otherwise, I think we just have to always keep working to get better, always raise the standards. What are you looking forward to most about uh, this uh, spring season? Um, what are your standards for the team this season, as your coach likes to put it? Um, I think just win championships, I guess. We're, we try to be a championship team. You know, that's our goal to win championships. So that's what we want to do. That's what we want to go out and do. The UConn field hockey team, ranked number two in the nation, finished their difficult matchups this weekend the way they wanted to, with two wins. Their schedule pitted them against two nationally ranked teams on back-to-back -back days this past weekend. The first game was on East Saturday against Big East Conference rival and number 11, Old Dominion. The team had not had any shortage of stars this season, and in this game, it was freshman Amelia Ikabuchi who netted the game winner to help UConn win 1-0. The Huskies had four corner attempts and outshot their conference foe 12-6. This was undoubtedly one of their hardest fought matches of the season. In their second matchup against number 17 Boston University, a familiar name came up clutch. Charlotte Weitner, who surprisingly didn't score in this game, still found a way to help her team win with a huge assist to Pippa Lewis off a corner play. Royce and Upton's third hat trick of the season was the main driving force, however, and the Huskies topped the Terriers 5-0. This extended their winning streak to 29 games and they remain undefeated. Well. That's going to be it for UC Sports. But don't worry, we got uh, Stores Nation coming up soon, so stay tuned. We'll see you next week.